The EU suspends all security cooperation with Niger after the country's army took power in a coup. Thousands of protesters are lining the streets in Israel against the government's controversial judicial overhaul. And we take you to Liverpool, which is hosting Pride on behalf of Ukraine. Protests are taking place across Israel against the government's planned judicial overhaul for the 30th week in a row. It's the first Saturday of mass demonstrations since the first bill in the overhaul was passed by the Israeli parliament earlier this week. And the new law limits the Supreme Court's ability to nullify legislation that it deems to be unreasonable. Well, on Friday, Israeli media reported that military intelligence officials had warned Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that Israel's enemies viewed the current crisis as a historic weak point that could be exploited. Kenya says it is ready to send police officers to Haiti in the midst of a criminal gang crisis. A federal judge has thrown out former President Donald Trump's defamation lawsuit brought against U.S. cable network CNN. Mr. Trump sued CNN for $475 million for describing his unsubstantiated claim that the 2020 presidential election had been stolen from him as the big lie, arguing that the phrase had created a false and incendiary association between him and Hitler. Well, Trump alleged that the big lie referred to a Nazi propaganda campaign used to justify the persecution of Jews. U.S. District Judge Raj Singhal, who was appointed by Trump, ruled that CNN's comments were not defamatory, writing in his verdict, quote, no reasonable viewer could or should plausibly make that reference, and adding, while the statements were, quote, repugnant, were not, as a matter of law, defamatory.